Hello guys, today I want to share a quick tip about why you should not use ENV function helper in your controllers or anywhere in your application code. The main point instead of ENV you should use config and in this video I will show you exactly why with example. So if you call the ENV from your controller for example, it looks into your .env file and searches for the value. But that would be a problem if you want to use config caching. In Laravel documentation, there's a section about configuration caching and to give your application a speed boost, you can run config cache and then it would cache all the config values and would not load .env file at all. This is a warning, the .env file will not be loaded. So for example, if I load that page and I see project 4.test locally, I will zoom it in, that is fine. But then I run php artisan config cache, cache successfully. And then if I change something in the env, project for test dot test and I refresh, the value isn't even loaded actually. At first I thought it would load the old value, but actually env wouldn't even work because it doesn't load the env. Instead, what you should do is config some value and then in that config, it uses dot env. Typically for app URL, there's config app file and URL is this, which uses env under the hood and then provides the default fallback value. So everywhere in your code, like in controllers, you should use config file dot key of that parameter. In this case, app PHP URL. And now if I reload that page, I see project 4.test. And if I change something in env, it doesn't take that until I reload the cache. So cache again, which should be run by the way on every deployment of new code. It clears the cache and refreshes that. And now if we reload the page, we should see the new env file value put into the config and into the cache. If you want more quick tips like this one on Laravel, not only env files, I have a separate repository free on GitHub Laravel tips, which is 4,000 stars at the moment, divided by topics, 300 or more tips at the moment. I keep updating that every few months or so, so you can find a lot of them here. The link will be in the description below. Subscribe to the channel to get daily videos here in the video format and see you guys in those other videos.